Here we are with forward Santia Roming to our left, head coach Lance Randall to the middle, and to our right, guard Owen Polakowski in a 82-70 to 70 Sunshine State Conference win over Palm Beach Atlantic. Coach, we'll start with you. Anytime you get a win in conference play, it seems like it's that much sweeter. Yeah, no, this this was a, this was a good win because... They, they have been playing good basketball. Palm Beach Atlantic has been playing good basketball. Their only loss is really they had three shots at the buzzer at um, inside of four seconds at Florida Southern, and that's their only loss, and, and the last one was a layup. So they're, they're one shot away from being undefeated heading into this game. So they were dangerous. I thought defensively we set a pretty good tone um, in this game, the first half, and then for the most part in the second half. Um, we got bogged down in that first half offensively, um, just you know, kind of quit running our stuff. We were getting to the line early. We started establishing that. We didn't, make, we didn't make free throws, and that can be contagious in a stretch where, like, one guy misses, one guy. We've been a really good free throw shooting team. But the important thing for me was that we're getting the line, shooting 31 or 32 free throws, whatever we shot, 32 free throws is a big deal. I know some of them were late fouls, but most of those were in play, regular play in the game. Second half turnovers. Uh, you know, we didn't come out in the second half very well. Really important to end halves well, start halves well. And... Uh, I was disappointed in how we came out, and that's why we had some you know, quick pulls. They weren't the only culprits. I could just see we were a little bit flat there, um, and we let them back in the game. But we, we started stringing stops together. I thought our defense in the, the mid-stretch of that second half was outstanding. We found really good buckets, got some stuff out of the high-low, got some really great stuff out of transition. Our defense, again, started picking up. We got a bunch of steals. You know, This guy's dunk was massive. These, these, the, these guys' energy, I thought on both ends of the court, these guys played exceptionally well. Marty was really good. Um, you know, and, and Grant and Trey were a little sporadic, but they both were very good. Um, and, and Jared, you know, same thing. He does some really good things in there. And then he, um, he, he, he he's, he's such a good glue guy for us, um, for sure. And he's just, a, you know, such a smart player. But it's a great win. Fouled too much down the stretch, for sure. Game, you know, allowed it to hang around too much. But I'm proud of these guys getting a big W conference play. Owen, it seems like you're continuing to improve in your early NCAA career. Recently, shooting five for six tonight, three from three from long range. Just coming from a freshman mentality, how have you been feeling so far within the first few games of NCAA play? I'm um, good. I'm just. We just came off a big win last game, and uh, so we, I just came out with a lot of confidence, and I knew my team had my back. So. It was good to bring the energy and get a good win tonight. Santia, again, another young guy, sophomore, you know, five for seven from the field, 14 points overall. Just talk a little bit about your performance tonight and just the team overall and just how you were feeling on the court. Well, uh, my performance really uh, comes from our team and just how, like, we click because once that ball just keeps moving, it opens spots for me to get to. So I really uh, – feed off of it, feed off my team and the energy and stuff like that. So the props to my team for just being able to uh, move the ball in offense and just get me to the spots I need to be in. Coach, take us back to the second half in the under eight media timeout. Game was going back and forth, but then after that timeout, that's when we had the string of seeing Owen get the dunk. You get a few turnovers. You build the lead to the double digits. What did you say to the group in that media timeout to get the ball going? I don't remember at all. I don't remember, but we, uh, but we, we were talking. I know at that stage we we're talking about being patient in the high low. Um, that you know that we were getting it early, but not, not to settle on early. It can, it can let it swing. We can find it. They were getting the ball at the rim, stay at the rim. Our transition was good, but that was that was happening with our defense. We were stringing stops, and when you start getting that confidence with stops, um, you know we got a couple you know turnovers there, got some runouts or some long rebounds and go. Uh, situations and and there's a there's an energy that comes with that and that you know we fed off that on the defensive end found us some good baskets on the offensive end and then we were in the half court um, you know M Marty settled in in the half court there in that second half and found some big buckets for us and he's such a good low block player and, and we just got a lot of weapons with these guys and and and, and Santia hit on it they're just very unselfish um, they they have they have great synergy and, and chemistry, and we got a lot of things to continue to work on. But but they're they're com they have a great competitive spirit, but they also like care about each other genuinely, and that that's a that's a powerful package, and that it's great to coach that. And I know that we have uh, a long ways to go, but it, it's it's a good group to go there together with for sure. Coach, yeah, congratulations! That's a great win. Uh, like you said, any win in the, in the league is is a good win. Uh, uh, it seems to me that you early uh, did a good job of establishing an interior game, uh, especially with, um, uh, like you mentioned, and then 
got away from it a little bit, and then in the second half, it looks like you re-emphasized it again. Is that what happened? Like you said, okay, you know, we got away from it, and then we need to get back to it because it was clear in the second half, you know, with your with your two post players that 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 you made some progress again. Was that an em- a re-emphasis? Yeah, it was definitely a re-emphasis. Okay. It was an emphasis before the game. It was an emphasis during. It was an emphasis af- afterwards. But it, no, it's a good question. One thing that happened, I think, when Morty got in foul trouble, we kind of lost our way a little bit. We weren't finding, and we lost our rhythm. There was not a we we missed. We called some stuff. And we missed up the execution. So we tried to get this guy to the block. We tried to get um, Cannon to the block. We tried to find some stuff in the rim. And we, we messed up our execution. They ended up being some empty possessions. We had some possessions where the shots were def- decent, where we drove, kicked, and had some wide open shots. And just didn't knock them down. Um, but we, I could feel we didn't establish a, a, a clear way to score. And, um, and again, in that second half, um, we did. Definitely, we did. Yeah, and when you and when you can get 19 turnovers and you only shoot 65 from the line, which is usually not as good as you are, yeah. and you still can get a nice win like that, that's 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 a really a really good win, and, I, and I'm sure you're really happy. Yeah. And uh, I have to ask you too about about your young people here. You know, I mean, they're they're playing older than they than they than they are. You know, so maybe comment on you know what you think. You know, what, you know how did they get? Be so good, so young. <laughs> and what are you doing with these guys? I mean, in practice, are you feeding them? Uh, what are you yeah. feeding them? No, we have some really well coached uh, from high school, well coached, but well raised uh, young men. I mean, just really quality individuals. So they they take coaching, they work hard in practice, they work harder in the individuals, and like I said, they care about each other. So it comes across as a cohesive unit, and we're going to continue to build that. But it's a great. I mean, is it, we have a good mix of older and younger guys. Obviously, our young guys have been, um, you know, been really effective for us. I'm very pleased with both their talent and their competitive spirit.